It has been a week-long event since the Queen Elizabeth passed on. The week has been regarded as a solemn week, as flags have stayed half-mast and so many other notable events to mourn a passage took place. On the morning of the state funeral, the line in state ends as the final members of the public are admitted. Thereafter, the coffin will burn in procession on the state gun carriage of the Royal Navy from the Palace of Westminster to Westminster Abbey for the state funeral. Immediately following the coffin will be the king, members of the royal family and members of the king's household. The procession will arrive at the west gate of Westminster Abbey at where the Biara party will lift the coffin from the state gun carriage and carry it into the Abbey for the state funeral service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I go, ye know, and the way ye know. We may be found acceptable in thy sight, and receive that blessing which thy well-beloved son shall then pronounce. The state funeral service will be attended by heads of state and overseas government representatives, including foreign royal families, governors general, and REM prime ministers, other representatives of the REMs and the Commonwealth, the orders of chivalry, including recipients of the Victoria Cross and George Cross, government, parliament, devolved parliaments and assemblies, the church and Her Majesty's patronages will form the congregation along with other public representatives. Almost 200 people who are recognized in the Queen's birthday honors earlier this year will also join the congregation, including those who made extraordinary contributions to the response to the COVID-19 pandemic and have volunteered in their local communities. The state funeral service will be conducted by the Dean of Westminster. During the service, the Prime Minister and the Secretary General of the Commonwealth will read lessons. The Archbishop of York, the Cardinal Archbishop of Westminster, the Moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland and the Free Churches Moderator will say prayers. The sermon will be given by the Archbishop of Canterbury who will also give the commendation. The Dean of Westminster will then pronounce the blessing. Towards the end of the service, last post will sound followed by two minutes silence to be observed in the Abbey and throughout the United Kingdom. The National Anthem will bring the State Foreign Service to a close at approximately 12 noon. The Queen is to be buried together with the Duke of Edinburgh. Bumi Adigun, OGTV News.